Um, I'm a head vet for the Yukon Quest and have been for the last eight years. Um, what we do, what I do as a head vet is one, organize the vet team, invite vets in, um, experienced vets. We don't have rookies. This is a thousand mile race. So we want people that are familiar with sled dog medicine and have done other races. So we're always looking for experienced vets. And they're cold proof. They can work in the cold. They don't require a lot of sleep a lot of times. And they can eat cheeseburgers for 10 days in a row. But as a vet team, we're always fascinated how these dogs can run a thousand miles and at the end look pretty darn good. And some of them wagging their tails. I don't think we could, you know, physically run a thousand miles and look as good as these dogs do. The mushers know their dogs. They live with these dogs. We don't, but we know the medicine. So the two of us together can come up with the right treatment plan for the dog and do what's best for the dog. And that always works very well. It's nice to be in town and do all this and see old friends and everything, but there's a point where you want the race to start and you want to get on the trail and be out of town. Yeah, it's, it's been a challenging uh, two weeks, obviously. Our, uh, our trail crews have put in an inordinate amount of overtime time and have worked uh, really really hard and uh, we have a very acceptable trail. Oh, I think we've got some real uh, good competitive mushers. I think uh, if the conditions hold steady the uh, the weather will be acceptable for us as will the trail and uh, one thing about this race there's always going to be something that pops up that you have to deal with but uh, we've got a very good team this year and real confident in everybody's ability.